So I've always thought that I would keep this to myself. I'm not gonna share this with anybody. This is the proprietary secret of GPP. And then a few years ago, I was like, nah, screw it, we're doing this. I'm telling everybody all of it. And um, hopefully then you can add to what we do. We have some amazing programming and um, I've always been excited to see how you would contribute to the programming or to this method. So I'm just gonna teach you the method. I'm gonna give it to you and hopefully um, for good reasons. Let's assume that you already know how this works, right? And you've already attended the lecture on what health means to us. And you already know that our definition of fitness, the physical, fitness is just a piece of your health. It isn't health, but we're gonna approach your health, your optimal health, which is a component of all these things. Remember, you are only as healthy as you have perfect balance among these eight aspects. Right, well, we've covered all that stuff, but let's get to the, the way that we're going to approach your health because we're not really licensed to work on your mental health. I mean, I'll take a go at you <laughs> if you want to, but it'd be a really bad idea to take any mental health advice or um, let me muck with your mental health. I've tried before. It didn't work out very well. So we do have these other aspects. You can approach your health that way. What we believe is that the physical is the conduit, and I think that's why people come in here is because they know that, they get that, intrinsically they know. So we've decided that we are gonna approach your health from a minimalist standpoint, meaning we will do all it takes, but not one thing more, not one. We do the hard stuff too, um, and, but we won't do more. We're not trying to see how much exercise we can do. We're trying to get from ex exercise, right? Um, exercise is the servant, always the servant, never the master. We don't serve our exercise. We do in here so we can go out there and be awesome. We don't be awesome in the gym. So that's our approach. That's our minimalist approach. And we do it through the physical. So let me just show you how the physical works, how we put the sequential, GPP sequential programming onto you. Works like this. We do it on the push, pull, squat, core method. Push, pull, squat, core. Understand that when your body pushes, pulls, and squats, and cores, you've worked every single muscle comprehensively in a balanced way, top to bottom, left to right, back to front, which is our commitment to you. Um, you've worked every muscle, right? When, when you push, you've worked half the muscles in the upper body, half the arm, half the shoulder, half the torso. When then you turn around and pull, we work the other half the arm, the arm's done, other half of the shoulder, shoulder's done, other half the torso, torso's done. And just those two movements, you've balanced the upper body, which is something that you need for joint health and et cetera, just to be physical. And that's what your body wants it to do. So then we do a squat, we squat right, you use every muscle in the, from the bottom down. When you core, your core does certain things. Um, if you put, we do all of our programming on the push, pull, squat, core method, and, and there's a reason behind that. The other thing that we understand um, that we got from Evans and Crawley is that there are 10 different aspects of your health that you need to keep in consideration. And, and here's the thing to know, okay, we all know cardio. You gotta do your cardiovascular exercise. There are health benefits that you can gain from doing cardiovascular exercise. There are, and you don't wanna leave those on the table. But here's the thing that not everybody understands about exercise. There are health benefits that you can gain through strength training that you can't necessarily get from cardio. Isn't that interesting? This now mandates your participation in both. And if you understand it correctly, you understand that all 10 of these have their own health benefits that you can't necessarily get from doing the others, which means if you're pushing, pulling, and squatting, and coring, and you're not doing it in these, using all 10 aspects, you've left health on the table. Look at all the cardio people, right? Look at all the runners out there. They're not really getting any strength from that. They're not getting the health benefits of strength. Um, cardio people, runners, cyclists, you're only getting about a tenth of the health benefits of exercise. You're leaving fitness on the table. And man, if you're into minimalism and optimal health, you're messing up. Like if you're exercising for the sake of exercise, you're screwing up. If you're exercising to gain benefit and all of the benefits of exercise, you've got to put all 10. So what are they? We know. Stamina, flexibility, right? You know these, these are the four. What about these guys? Power. You use these in daily life. Why are we not putting them comprehensively into your programming? It's a mistake to leave those out. But 
balance, accuracy. Remember, you've got to have all 10 and you've got to put them on yourself in a balanced way. You can't just do cardio from a push standpoint or stamina from a push standpoint and not turn around and pull. You leave health on the table, you don't be balanced in, and you're not really adding to your programming. You're, you're, you're doing too much, okay? So that's how we do it. We, we understand that uh, you gotta push, pull, squat, and core. We understand that there are 10 different ways of doing all of that. And then here's how we put it together. And this is the stuff I've always thought was the comprehensive or the proprietary thing. Um, works like this. And, and if you've been following our programming long enough, you'll see this. You'll start to recognize this. And then hopefully someday you'll be able to predict for how I'll pull the workouts at you. But there's a, there's a method. There's a code. Here's the code. Monday, you will push, you will pull, you will squat, and you will core. And I'm going to do this with a high heart rate, right? And I'll keep that heart rate up for over 20 minutes. And if I put the right moves in it, we'll accomplish all of these and most of those. Okay, I've got a good start for my week and never miss a Monday. It's super important. Here's the other thing to know. You can come back if we do these right, if we program it right, you can push, pull, squat, and core with a heart rate and I can do different heart rates. This can, I can do this with a gasser and this one I can do long slow distance way, right? And then I've accomplished more of these, these different aspects. See how it works? And then on Friday, because you need a little bit of rest in between, pull, squat, and then core. Now, I don't have to do your cardio that day. I need at least two a week to increase your cardiovascular health, your cardio and your stamina, right? And sometimes I'll put the power and the speed in there. Well, I don't have to, but I like to. I, I can overdo it a teeny little bit and, and still meet our minimalist goal, right, of optimal health. But if you've been watching, know that I use the change. Use the change equals change philosophy. In other words, Monday looks, it, your body feels Monday exactly like it feels Wednesday, almost exactly. But you'll see it different because I'm going to change the workout and make them appear a little bit different. And the reason I do that is so that you don't get bored and so that it keeps your body guessing. That way you'll never adjust. We think that adjusting to a workout is one of the worst things you can do. You, you don't want to um, adjust to a workout. You never want to be able to do a workout easy. And so I'll throw push, pull, squat, core at you differently, which is why we do different types of workouts. Because change, if you change the workout, it changes your body more often. You never want to get good at exercising. You always want to keep your body gassing. You don't want to adjust. Um, okay, so that's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. See the sequential programming? Now, here's the, my commitment to you. My commitment to you is that by the time I get you to Friday, if you'll work out with me five times a week, because your body needs to, it was made to be active, um, if by the time I get you to Friday, you're done. So here's how else I do it. Thursday, this just came together about six years ago. Thursday is core day, right? So this is the day that we'll throw abs. And I think I'm the last guy on earth that's still doing abdominals in a very specific way, right? Um, and I do it because we started getting some back problems eight, nine years ago when we started. People were walking around with these debilitating back injuries and we just plain don't get them anymore. And I believe that the reason that we don't is because of Thursday. Never miss a Thursday. Don't miss them. You need them, right? I will do, your, your core only does four things. It goes forward, it goes backwards, it goes to the sides and it twists. And it can do all kinds of, it can do those from different directions. I keep that in consideration, and if I didn't throw the core at you in those ways on these days, I will comprehensively hit you on Thursday. Come to Thursday, it'll keep your back healthy, and that's one of the reasons we don't get that devastating back injury with GPP. So what leaves, what are we left with on Tuesday? Tuesday is where I hit more of these bottom six, right? Coordination, balance, accuracy, I will throw those at you on a Tuesday. And Tuesday's only job, the reason that we do Tuesday, Tuesday's job is to put some hormones on your body, right? Um, this is our power day. This is our strength day, okay? And this is how I do it. I will rotate strength week 
and I'll stack them so that every week we do a focused principle. So on Tuesday, I will do one week, I'll do a push. Um, the next week, a week later, I'll do a pull bias. Then I'll do a squat bias and then a core bias. And those of you that keep track, you'll know that. So this week was a push bias. What do you think is coming next week on Tuesday? Yeah, we're pulling. And then the next week we're going to squat. And then the next week we're going to core. And it's cool because your body was made to stack. It likes it, right? So on push day, some weeks we're going to have a push, push, push before we get a break. Your body loves that. And one of the things we've learned is if we stack them, we strengthen our pushers. And then we can put that away for a month. We'll still do them, right? But when we stack it that week, we get stronger. And that's one of the reasons that we continually, eight years later, people are still getting PRs with their deadlifts and PRs with their overheads. It's this combination that, that leads to that. Now, when you're new, you gotta be a little careful with that. But right now, um, once you get up to speed, this will serve you. So then the question becomes, what do I do on Saturday and Sunday? Well. If I had my druthers, you'd just get out of this gym and go out there and use your fitness. Go do something. Do something that interests you. Do something that edifies you. Do something that connects you with people that you love and, and people that love you back, right? Don't come in the, in the, the gym and do another workout. If you have to, and, and that's what's best for your mind, I love it. Go ahead, do it. And so I'll go ahead and I'll program a workout on Saturday, but get this. Um, I don't care. If you came Monday through Friday, you're done. Now, here's the other thing. If you miss Wednesday, you've got a hole in your fitness, okay? There are spots in it. You should come in on Saturday and make it up, and then you're back on track. You're not going to be able, through our programming, you're not going to be able to miss very many of these, because then you're going to get some holes. You won't get all the pushes and the pulls. I've got all of this to put on you right? You can't miss it or we start getting spots in it and then you're going to more likely to get injured or just leave aspects of health and fitness on the table, which isn't why we're doing this. We're doing this to get the most out of it. We're minimalist. We're not trying to see who the most elite athlete is. We're trying to become elite out there and we understand that fitness is a piece of this, right? The physical is a piece of this and the physical will give us strength in all eight of the categories. So that's why we do it. That's the key to the kingdom. That's how we do our fitness. That's how we do our programming. And I just handed it to you. So your challenge and my challenge to you is go make this better. Take the spirit of this and let's make this better. And let's put it out to the world and help everybody. People don't have to do all that damn exercising. They just have to do this. And this makes it complete and 100% functional and minimalist and healthy.